Hey guys, today uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a short review, but um, the Blake the Badger plush came today. Only Blake. Well, maybe. Uh, this is I don't I don't name my videos. I haven't checked this, but everyone has been receiving Blake. So who knows? This could be candy. This could be pop goes. I don't know. Let's just get it open. Get it open. It's Blake. Yep. It's kind of weird to think. This is the first Fazbear Fanverse plush here. Okay, let's get her open. Right. Now this is an exclusive to GameStop. Well, all of them are. They're all exclusive to GameStop. And, um, yeah, here, here is Blake. I'm gonna keep the tag on for Popco. Because, like, you know. Just make it more collectible. Camera. Don't fall. Here's Blake. Looks cute. Uh, first impressions. A lot of printed on color. Here, right. And it looks very. Looks very like. What's the printing up here? What is that red mark there? See that? All that white stuff all around. And not enough detail on this. Now, this is a Blake from. The first Pop Goes game, not the new one. So he looked way different. And because they only did that, he is going to be what YouTube does for all their products. Is a uh, excuse me. Um, what they're gonna do is that this is a limited time plushie. Once it's gone, it's gone. And if I'm not mistaken, on S Smith's Toys, which is England, it has sold out. So I don't know if GameStop's gonna restock it, but it's really nice to see Fanverse. Fanverse stuff is selling. People want to see this, which means we might get stuff more in the future. But let's just start talking about the plushie a little bit more. Now, in the, my opinion, I don't think it has enough detail. Not like the new bait Blake from the from the new series. Oh, here's the tag. It's the Fanverse tag. It has the logo. Kane, the creator of Pop Goes, doesn't really like this. Doesn't really like this logo. I think it's fine. Doesn't really. Sh show much about the fanverse but it's good enough in my opinion and lo as long as they're giving credit i don't care but here is like but um they're using the uh the teeth that they i mean the, the plastic that they're used on the foxy uh, captain foxy here i'll show you what i mean just give me a second where is he, where is he? there he is I have my plushies. I'm filming this. There you go. Now, this right here. You see this right here? This is his little tuft fur. That's what they're using for the teeth. Now, I'm hoping get rid of this. I do not like this. Because it's so easy to pull off. If I... At Bruce, at um, a lot of strength, if I used all my strength, I could rip that thing off. All of that. I... Uh, they're using soft nose... Which I think is cool, because if not, they would have used like these doggy noses, which don't match the characters at all. The is this printed? I think it might be printed. It doesn't... I don't know. It looks like printed. Oh, that, he has a tail. Nice. Don't forget those little minor details. Here's Blake. Uh, oh, they're definitely using... Um, definitely using um, printed here, because... I, should, I hate printed. If ever, people have been watching me for a while, they know I hate printed. Printed color, in my opinion, just isn't good. Don't make because if okay, printed color for me feels weird. Feels like I'm touching a rug. My opinion. So that's why I think less plushies should use it. Um. Good eyebrows, sew down eyebrows, because I do not like uh, the other eyebrows that they've been doing. Here, I have an example of it. Where is it? Not the Pizza Sim. Oh, here. Yeah. Here's the Spring Colorway plushies. I love these ones. But they use these little puffy ones. Like, if they're not going to do these, just make it, like, they're, they use these floppy ones. And if they don't, if you don't, Funko, if you don't, want to use these make the puffy ones like 
on a, uh, if you look it up, a Bowser Jr. plushie. Those have like puffy eyebrows. But in my opinion, I love, I love the sewn on stuff. Sewn on stuff is amazing. Everything here just, it looks incredible. I'm super excited to see Pop Goes and Candy, because this is my least excited one that I wanted. But I'm really excited that this came. I'm really excited about it. I, I actually really like this one. I get why they... I mean... Let me tell you. Worth, is it worth the price? 12 bucks? Yes. Absolutely. Now, if you live in America, these things are still... These things are still online. So you can go buy Blake and Pop Goes and Candy. You can buy all of them. But if you're in England, if you in, live in England, I don't know if they have... I don't know if they have plush. I don't know if they have GameStop in England. Anyways, if you're not, you can buy them on Smith's Toys, but I think they've sold out. They, yeah, they have sold out on there. They sold out in there, so I'm sorry about that. You're gonna have to just get it from eBay. <laughs> but in my opinion, amazing plush. Can't wait to see Pop Goes. Can't wait to see Candies. Can't wait to see anything else. First fan vs merch. Wait, is this the first? Well, this is the second announced to the U2s. But this is the first in-hand stuff that we've been getting for the for the, for the fanverse. First in-hand thing. First impressions? Love it. Keep on coming, Funko. This is the best that we've had a while for a plush. Anyways, that's it. I'll be back. I mean, uh, like and subscribe. If you want to see more of my content, I mean, if, if you want to see more of my content, subscribe because it helps me out a lot. I'm all so close to getting monetized. So it would be really helpful if you just did that. Ring the bell because I will, when Candy and Pop Goes will arrive, I'll definitely will be making a video on them. Uh, and I, I, I haven't ordered them yet, but I will. Uh, the U2's, uh, the U2's, um, uh, the, the fanverse stuff. Super excited for them. Anyways, I'm going to stop ranting and I'll see you next time. Bye.